are down to 45 seconds in the game and it's been real dicey the last couple of minutes so so that's where we are with that oh man um, and we are live right yes we are live hello everyone cool. if you are watching the world cup i'm in the u.s come on over here come on alex is in the u.s but i don't i don't think he was paying as much attention we will and... we will fill you in entirely. Should should I have the scores up and I can give the the, <laughs> the play by play? We can just do that for the first ten you, minutes. I think you just do the commentary. There Perfect. should there should only be so t- like the initial stoppage time is about to expire, and they're having a delay right now, which means there's probably like once they start again another forty five seconds or something. Okay. And I don't know. This is nuts. This is like Yeah. Just for for for, for everyone's context, <laughs> we did have it scheduled for earlier today, but James Wisey was like, "Hey man, uh mm-hmm. US soccer There's this on. thing. Yeah. Um so we did bump it back an hour. We thought it would be over. It's we're so close to it being over. Hey from Paris. Hey Pierre. How you doing, buddy? Angelo's here. James watching from Kenya. Hi from Nigeria. Love it. I always love, yeah, I always love people. getting the comments of where people are cuz I feel like there's always people yeah, all over the place, which is such a such a good thing. Hey, um, question for you: Do you know, um, do you know how to build a, a chat bot for YouTube streams? Like same thing you would do for Twitch, but for YouTube, is there like an SDK no for idea. that? I okay. so honestly, uh, Ben Myers, he is the one who mm. built the chat bot that I use for my Twitch stream, and cool. so that is, uh, if 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 you want a chat bot, um, he has a great one. They w- w- did 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 we win? Did we just win? <laughs> Game over. We won. Game over. Yes. I've I have never <laughs> been so happy. This is I know. This is, I can't. This is your thing. I know. I am. Uh, <laughs> who's who's like our our main person on? Uh, Pulisic, on... and he got he scored the only goal of the game, and then got injured when he did it, so he didn't play the entire second half. Okay. Which was he's like our number one player. It's funny. So. I've never heard that word in my life. I thought I would have yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. Jay Barrio says, I helped develop components for the World Cup on the U.S. soccer official website. That That's is super wild. dope. But yeah. M's here. Awesome. So many good people. How, hey, cool. everybody. Thanks for coming yeah. out. Um, yeah. And congratulations to the U.S. Uh, if you are here from Iran, I apologize. Uh, my condolences for your team. <laughs> but um, better luck next year. Next, next four, four years. years. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There it is. Keep your um, chin up. So we were to. For everyone to know that we actually are on track. Uh, yeah, next gonna, yes and stuff. Prismic, and maybe I'll let you give just a little bit of intro for like, pr- like the two sentence Prismic thing, um, which is probably two the simple sentence. part, or however many sentences you want. But I then also four. the big thing, and this was like something I had to learn about in some of my training that I did a couple weeks ago, was Prismic slice machine, what it's used for, what the use cases are, and how it's different than other similar headless cmss and how they do things i guess cool awesome uh, yeah do you want to kick us off with some of that if people in the chat if you have questions about this we're going to get hands on we're going to do code we'll go in the dashboard all the things if you have questions as we go throw them in the chat and we'll answer them and make sure we get, have all that stuff covered yeah and, and actually um it's just uh I'll, I'll i'll ask up front is it cool if i present just for for a minute just to kind yeah. of show a bit of the concepts cool absolutely yeah i think please, i can just yeah. click, click the present button right and that'll do it let's see share screen and Screen sharing is easiest with two monitors. They're giving me tips. What a wonderful app this is. Um, so tabbing over to Figma. Cool. Sweet. So I'll, I'll keep that there just, just for a second. So uh, Prismic. Prismic is a headless website builder that allows developers to use whatever technology they think is best for the project and give content editors the best experience for building out pages, staying on brand, and scaling very quickly just creating uh, the the websites that they need, sorry, the, the web pages that they need for whatever comes up. They don't have to wait on developers. They don't get blocked by anything. They're just able to iterate and create un, uh, at an unlimited rate, right? Um, so the reason it's a headless website builder, that the headless part that is us working with Next.js, Nux, whatever kind of framework you want, whatever's best for that project. And then the website builder gives the editors a a drag and drop page builder interface where they get to use these page sections that we call slices in order to build out whatever the heck they need because we us developers are giving them these like essentially these lego bricks of of a sense um in order to just kind of 
connect, build, reuse, and scale up as they need. So if we look at a page like, let me pull over the- Are you a big are you a big Figma person, by the way? Like I know you're yeah. a designer. Do you use Figma oh, a lot? Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. Uh, Figma. It's heart broke a little bit when it became an Adobe product, but you know, we still got love for Figma. It's still, so far haven't felt any change, but yeah. It's cool. uh, it's 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 nice, and I'll 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 show a trick or two. Um, so if if we look at a site like Astro, right, um, we see the that that the the site is split into these page sections. So we we have our, our common sections like heroes. We've got a, a logo grid or a logo cloud here. We've got kind of this cool uh, content slice with this effect. Um, but then we have another similar slice and we would just have all these page sections, right? So slices, you can kind of think of like page sections. And if we go over here, I actually brought the Astro page into Figma, which is a really, really nice plugin. If if y'all want just like a quick, actually, actually no, I'll, I'll Wait, show this to you later because it's going to complicate the, the explanation. Uh, but Wait, but I hold on. Figma. Yeah. Oh, tell me, t tell me what that was. So what just... Uh, yeah, so I'll I'll show you how to build how to bring any website into Figma in a little bit, just because it's it's super handy when you want to like do demos and stuff like this. Like Brad, it's, it's Brad just a one chat. command thing. Yeah, Brad's he's, like uh, yeah, talk about that. So do that whenever you're ready. It. We can let the suspense it. build. Which if this is not a TikTok on your channel, it should be. <laughs> and Alex has one of my favorite TikTok channels. If people thank you, man, thank you, I yeah. appreciate that. You are fantastic on there as well. We we're, we're always commenting on each other's stuff. It's fun. Yes. Um, but so like the concept of slices is something that Prismic pioneered and it allows you to build out these page sections that we're all really familiar with uh, and hand them over to a content team and say, hey, use these in whatever order you want. So if, if we actually look at this site, like when we zoom out, we kind of see it actually kind of repeats itself a little bit like mm -hmm. this icon and, and it, it's an icon on the site, but the plugin didn't import it. Uh, the icon, the little eyebrow, the heading and the body, and then that's a link right there uh that repeats a bunch of times and we we have that like one two three four almost five times but just with like a small mm -hmm. twist on it at, at the end um this is kind of that again right this logo cloud that's another slice and this uh what i'm calling like a sponsor card grid that's another slice all to its own right so you can kind of think of those as individual parts of a website that once you hand those off to a a content team, they can move these around, right? Like, like they can shift these up, they can move these down, they can change the text in there, they can just create and create. Or if if they need a, a new page, shifting those back to where they were, I think they were there. Uh, say that they need a second page to just talk to Next.js developers. They can get rid of that one and, and, and build it from the ground up. So the, these slices become these building blocks in order to build pages. And that is that common language that Prismic is helping designers and developers and content teams uh, kind of come together ar around that one concept. Because with atomic design, like if you start talking about atoms, right? Like which is like the smallest building blocks, like buttons and things like that, content teams don't really care about the buttons, right? Like the, the, they, they don't care about like- Just want that content. Small bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like that's too small of a component, but also if you make it so that your page your entire page is locked in place and you always have a hero and then always have a logo grid and always have this slice. And if it's just like one after another and you have to fill all of those, that's so inflexible that the content team is going to be calling a developer back to, to build out a new page. So if mm -hmm. instead we think about slices as these, uh, these, these things that essentially we can just hand to the content team, they can, mix and match that unlocks them to build uh, wh whatever they need. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and kind of analyzed this site as, as if a designer had given it to us and broken down like, all right, what are the actual slices here? So we've got navigation and footer and those don't count as slices. That's kind of like the bread in the sandwich, right? So like the slices are all the things that go in the middle, but you, all, you always need a footer. You always need a navigation. You don't want to give that um to your what content you, team as an option to like move around right and how do you Good refer questions. to that information inside of prismic because that's one of the things that can be tough across different systems is like nomenclature for stuff and i think this is somewhere along the lines of like 
static pieces of content? Is that how you refer to that? Yeah, you, you can. So, I mean, uh, in this sense, Prismic isn't too prescriptive. I'll just tab over super quick, not to get too ahead of us. Oh, wait, I got to pull StreamYard off and bring this over. Sorry, I just got to realize uh, Yeah, there we go. So uh, for, for us, like, and, and I'm, I'm getting mm, nice. ahead a little bit, like yep. we have a navigation section to uh, al allow you to move those links around and everything. Right now we're looking at Slice Machine. That's that's jumping a ahead a little yeah. bit, but uh, the TLDR there is it's up to you what you want to call it. We have best practices that we 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 recommend. Those are in the documentation, um, and we can just kind of you know like like we don't at, at least not yet um, prescribe a set way to say like like this is how you must do your navigations, how you must do your footer, any of that. Um, but we 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 are trying to optimize around building websites. Um, a lot of other CMSs, they kind of give you this like, hey, you have this tool and you can send this data anywhere that you want. You can put it up on billboards. You can send it to, to space or, or like whatever. <laughs> like we're making sure that building websites is as easy as possible here. We're not really optimizing as much for apps. You can build apps with Prismic. I've done it a bunch. But we're trying to make it so that building websites is the best experience possible for both you and your content team. So we're, we're, we're definitely optimizing ar around sites like this. Cool. Um, but so, yeah, so, so what I did was basically broke this site out into its slices. We've, we've got this hero slice. And when we look at this hero slice, if, if we want to build this in Prismic, right? I got this from my designer. All right, so I'm, I'm kind of analyzing it for the, the aspects uh, or, or, or the, the fields that it has, right? kind of d deciding what do I want to put in Prismic? So I've got this field here, this like eyebrow badge, right? And so... Eyebrow badge. I haven't heard that. That so makes sense though. So, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's weird. Like I, I, the, the term eyebrow, I, I heard, heard a while ago and it stuck with me. So like, that's your heading, that's your eyebrow. And that I just, like it. Yeah, that yeah. stuck, yeah. That's and so funny. this is the heading again, and this is the eyebrow, and that's and that like the the pill or eyebrow pill. I don't know. I eyebrow called pill. it an eyebrow badge. <laughs> and so here's your eyebrow badge text, and uh, this is oh, I'm 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 jumping ahead a little bit. So we we are moving from from Figma in into Slice Machine. So uh, yeah, sorry, I'm 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 jumping ahead. I I kind of realized that I'm just like going like full speed ahead from what are what is prismic and i didn't really explain what what slice machine is so should i kind of pause there and we can do well why don't we actually save that because i think probably okay. people are like we're kind of doing data modeling right now so without like getting too deep into slice machine specifically i think probably an audience can chime in and ask questions if if you feel differently but probably the association with like what you're saying in terms of components or pieces properties of this slice relating to some sort of data modeling, I, I think probably makes sense. So I think doing that correlation cool. is cool All for right, now. And sense. then we can actually dive into like, when we get more hands-on specifically, this is Slice Machine and this is how we're using it and what it's going to do for us. But again, audience, if you have questions, other concerns, chime in and throw those in as well. Cool. Cool. And and I do realize that I, I intended to stop here and hand off to you because I know you're doing the coding and everything today. So I I, I didn't mean to grab the reins and hold <laughs> on. It, it might be a bad habit. I'm, hold on, I, hold I on to the reins. Too. I know. It, it, it so. is interesting being a podcaster, being on someone else's podcast or being a streamer and being on someone else's stream. Like you're just, you're just used to like being yeah. your own personality and having to drive it. Yeah. And yeah, so I, I totally get it. And you're fine. I'm holding yeah. back from like working the chat and being like, Jay Barrios, know, absolutely. Yeah. Multi-stream. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree, man. <laughs> it's so hard should, not to just... You get you do know. that too. It's all, all you. <laughs> Um, actually, we do have a question uh, coming in from uh, Brad on Twitch, so I'll do my my chat monitoring. Yeah, cool. I know Prismic yeah. is a is a CMS. Does it handle things like blog posts as well as content like you're showing here? So the content that we're showing here is more or less like high level page builder type stuff. And then Brad's yeah. asking about blog post content. Is that something that Prismic does as well? Yeah, great question, Brad. Um, actually, all of our let me see if I can type. All of our blog uh, content, which is honestly excellent, and y'all should definitely check out. Let me see if can I is it, can I is it excellent? I might not be able you, to. 
because you know a lot of it. <laughs> I know, honestly. Uh, uh, you get Dan Spratling and Carolyn Stransky. Oh, Connor cool. Murray, like, yeah. Like, lots of good folks are writing here. I've written maybe like three or four things. See, okay. That that article, it's fine. Um, no, but um, I, I so put the link in the chat use... by the way for everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I put oh, the link in the thank chat you so for much. blog. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, we can use the same kind of concepts of slices uh, in text is essentially at the end of the day, like, like slices are, uh, objects in, in, in array, right? So you can set them to be anything. And if it's rich text, uh, and images and, and all kinds of things, you, you can just use those slices mm -hmm. to output different kinds. So like this, uh, table of contents bit here, that is actually a slice in the editor. Uh, mm. this is a rich text field. This is like a yep. code snippet slice. Like you can pretty much do anything that, that, that you want to with writing, uh, cool. blog posts or the same way that you would build a page. So yep. to answer your question, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you definitely can create blog cool. content. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, check out the blog. It's, uh, grace, our, uh, content lead does a phenomenal job. Sweet. So we were, let's see. We were on, we were doing like the eyebrow association. I still like crack up <laughs> yeah, with that. Just, so we got like where, I guess just go back through really quickly the, the properties here and then show that dashboard again with where those properties are inside the dashboard. Cool. Um, actually, so so I, I, I realized I might be jumping into Slice Machine a little too soon. So, uh, so I could explain what Slice Machine is in the context of our project if, if, if that would make more sense. So yep. like once we kind of have that concept of slices where we're, we're not thinking about building a page. We're thinking about building page sections and then giving it completely to the content editors. Like as a developer, I don't, I'm, I'm not worried about the, the full thing. I'm worried about the section. Yep. So uh, with, with that kind of concept in mind, um, I can show what uh, our Next.js and Prismic project looks like. And now that we're on stream, time to crank it up so that it's like five. Know, uh, right. Five things for line. So um, I have a I have a TikTok planned for this, and the TikTok nice. is is like the caption is like, code the size of my code when I'm coding by myself, and it's like you can barely even see it, and yeah. then you've got like <laughs> size of my code when I'm streaming, and it's this yep. big. Basically, um, that. yeah. Really quickly, I'm gonna take a stab at answering this because I think I've got the answer. But um, cool. Joshua is asking uh, or confirming, so I can isolate Prismic to be used for blog content only, even if I don't use Prismic throughout the remainder of the site. I think the answer is yes. I think. The Prismic and Slice Machine specifically is helping improve the workflow of defining what those different slices are that you can have so that content editors can go in and play within those boundaries, within those boxes of what they add. And then how you pull that into code and where you display it and on what pages you use the data from Prismic is up to you. So yes, I, I think absolutely you can use this isolated for just blog content and do anything else on any other page that you want to. Absolutely. I think you nailed it. You're hired. Hired. I, yeah, I'm, I'll send I'll send you my resume. All right. I, I mean, no, I don't need it. I've seen your TikTok, dude. You're, you're yeah, good. that's right. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, yeah, ex exactly right. It's uh, as 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 we'll see, we're just fetching data from Prismic. Pr Prismic makes it really easy to um, put the data into these slices. Like like one of the nicest mm -hmm. things about setting up a site with Slice Machine, uh, which is our local development tool, uh, is that you don't have to go through the hassle of figuring out how to get your data from the CMS. First off, just like how to fetch it. Like how does the client work? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So it gives me this. Now I need to console log that, that bundle. All right. So it's this shape and kind of like continuing to pass it down. I, I don't know if anyone else has that experience where, um, yeah, you're, you're getting data from a new API or a new CMS or whatever. And you're like, all right, I like the data came through. Cool. That's step one. Step now two, all right. Figure out how to what does this look all. like, right? Yeah. Like, what's the shape? And okay, so it's it's like data <laughs> dot thing dot other thing dot. It's when whatever. you console log to the browser and then you go and look, <laughs> and then keep console logging and then yeah. passing it down. So like Slice Machine handles that for you, and it's kind of magical. And I'm excited to just like it's it's something that I take for granted now. Where like when I have to set up new APIs or just pull in data from somewhere, I'm like, oh right, like like Prismic and Slice Machine just makes it really mm -hmm. simple. Um, but one, I'm yeah. going to interrupt you again. So another comment it. from, uh, Joshua that I think is worth clarifying. He's awesome. excited about using that, um, Prismic with Astra specifically. And I think right now, Slice Machine specifically is only available for Nuxt and Next with the plan of being available for other frameworks in the future. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. So 
officially like like the the absolute happy path the best way to use it the way that it works seamlessly is only with next and nuxt currently i am using it with an astro site as we speak i'm doing um my oh. my ho holiday special that i'm planning i'm building it completely in prismic and astro um there are ways to kind of like off-road it and use it it's not it's not in the docs it's not anywhere there so like it's not a thing that uh alex the prismic developer advocate here is <laughs> recommending but if if you re really want to go for it, it's it's still a really nice experience. I would still take it over a lot of other um, experiences, e even though you're going to miss out on a couple things like automatic snapshots, um, code snippets, and a, a lot of other nice features that we'll we'll get into today. Um, it still works really well, and I, I'm uh, I'm building this w site with uh, a whole bunch of people from my community, and it's yeah, it's it's fun. Cool. And uh, hit, hit hit me up, and I can I can show you the repo that I'm working on, and and help you with it. But is there a landing page for that for that project? Um, kind of. It's it's very much like like don't look at it right now, kind of thing. Here, I'll I'll just show it real quick. <laughs> um, just because you did something like Christmassy last year, right? Yeah. So, like I said, this is not the final page. I think these are placeholder images and stuff, but um. We are working on this. It's coming out. I don't know why, man, my, my computer's chugging right now. Uh, like it was rendering divs like line at a time. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is all in Prismic. We're building it with slices. As you can see, this is a slice. This is a slice, right? Yeah. So like it's, it's easy to move these around. It's easy for one person to hop in and, and work on a slice and build that out. Um, these are all still like stubbed out, but still. Um, you you can do it, but the official line that I'm going to give from from Prismic Inc. or Prismic LLC, whatever whatever we are, uh, it works just with Next and Next for now. I'll, prob yes. I'll probably we, have the official name and an invoice somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we 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 are uh, actively working towards mass adoption of all the frameworks. Angelo and Chad is actually um, working on that project, but cool, still still a thing that we're working on. Cool, cool. All right. Um, where where were we? This is uh, this is always the open. That, yeah, you open the code. Cool. And we started cool. so, there. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm assuming most people are at least or or, or yeah. chat. If if you're not familiar with, with Next.js, I don't mean to like blow by. This is just to be more of a Prismic tutorial than it is a Next.js tutorial. Is that safe to say, James? Or should I kind of start from Next? I, yeah. Beginnings? No, I think I think we should assume Next.js okay. basic experience, and then if people have questions, again, throw them in the chat. We'll make sure to cover them. Cool. All right. So uh, if we want to start in here, um, we can kind of start from the outside in, so to speak. So uh, Next.js wraps everything in, in its app.js. It's kind of the entry point for Next.js. Uh, and here we can see we are setting up a few things just to provide context to our components that we're going to use later. And by context, I mean like actually like React context so that when we go and use our rich text components, when we uh, bring in links or anything like that, it's going to be automatically using some of these styles that we've already passed in, as well as uh, giving us preview. So this is just a component object that we're going to be passing into the Prismic provider to make it so that any any paragraphs that come from prismic can get a nice default any list items that come from prismic can can get these to, can get this default and it just allows us to maybe uh, if you want to use chakra ui for your headings if you want to uh, do something like that you can make it so that prismic when we use our rich text component is outputting a specific component like you, you can even have it so that heading threes from the content team actually gives you heading fours if yep. you want you can do whatever you want here. Um, but basically, we we wrap our app here so that we get previews, for, even if uh, Next is being statically uh, built. And we provide uh, some link and some rich text components. Um, and then in the document, this is just kind of our, our standard Next.js app. And then we can look at the, the home page. And this is the home page for what we've built so far. And I, I've built this, but we're we're going to be going through it. Don't don't worry. But this is just kind of what what we we have of the page so far, and right here is the entire page, and you can see we've got a layout, 
we've got a head and that just gives the title. And then we've got this thing called a slice zone. So the slice zone is really where all the magic happens, right? Because that is where we are rendering out each slice. The, the rest is just, as I said, the, the bread on this sandwich, the layout. If, if I comment out that slice zone, that should be running. Everything we just, goes. It just <laughs> crunches. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, every, everything is happening in, in the slice zone there. And we're passing in our slices, which are coming from Prismic. We're fetching those uh, down here in Get Static Props. We create our client. We uh, fetch the home page, get the navigation, get the settings, and pass that all into components here. And um, then components yeah. that's getting the components that's getting passed in as a parameter to or a property to Slice Zone, which awesome branding by the way like it's such a cool <laughs> like name and brand to run with slice zones are, it, it it feels like a, a, a skateboard park i feel like mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah um so components is coming from here where this is automatically built for us by mm -hmm. slice machines slice machine being this local development environment that allows you to create your your slices and say what the shape of that data is so Slice machine allows us to create these fields and say, this is a text field or this is an image field and structure that out in a way that gives us these code snippets. So it, I feel like I'm, I'm jumping around a little bit. Um, we, can, as, we can backtrack yeah. from there if you want, if you, okay. Why don't we, why don't we backtrack a little bit? We can stick yeah. with, we can just do like the hands-on part of showing the code generation which i like is one of my favorite parts because i think that's always one of the challenges maybe this will take it back up to a higher level like bringing yeah, in data good. from some source some headless cms your responsibility as a developer is to translate that to in react world uh components that then render to the screen and, and render the data appropriately so the highest level of what we're looking at is prismic slice machine does some code generation to generate components for us we can go, we can then go in and customize those components to specifically grab the pieces that we want and display them in the way that we want, matching the design that you may may or may not have in Figma. Yeah, yeah, I think that that, that that's well said. Do we want to switch over to your computer? Yeah, let's do I, that. I know I, I I grabbed the reins and I didn't let go. Just so. hold on. No, hold on. It's all good. Um, let's let stop me, sharing. I right, think cool. I can. I've got master. There's a prism blog, by the way. Um, also, just quick check in for people in the audience. Just let us know if there is <clears throat> any any questions or confusion. Yeah, please. So, please um, first thing I should do is probably clone that repo that you were showing. Yeah, we want to do. Yeah, go ahead um, and install that. Here's previous stuff that I was and... testing around with, and probably bump show. it up a little bit, and then we'll CD into Prismic and chat myself and drop that repository so that people can hop in if they would like. K Popkey, uh, first time chat on, uh, on I was Twitch. gonna say Twitter, on Twitch. Yeah, welcome. Thank you for- yeah, great to have you. Cool, okay, so I've got the, cool. I've got the repository open. Need to run an install probably. Now one of the, in the documentation, I would usually run like a, at slice machine slash init command. Is that the same thing I need to do here to get started? Um, here, you you do not have to. So uh, slice machine init does a few things. One of them being uh, it creates a Prismic repository for you. So uh, the Prismic repository is where you keep the actual content. Yeah, exactly. So that's where the content editors are actually working and, and creating slices, building pages out, and entering the content so right now you are cloning down a repository that or a a a github project that's already connected to a prismic repository mm -hmm. so there's no need to do that slice machine init um step okay and i that, and yeah, you shared question. you shared this repository with me earlier which is a, a neat feature is that actually on the free tier to be able to invite people to a repo in prismic so no that's that's the so we have a super generous free tier but the thing that we limit on is users. So you okay. get unlimited 
Uh, I'm just going to pull it up because I, I always want to make sure I'm getting this right. Uh, unlimited, let me see. API calls, documents, custom types, locales, and assets, and image optimization. So every image you upload is on the Imagex CDN. If you're not familiar, mm -hmm. it's like Cloudinary in the sense that it's just like it, it, it does images really well. And you get unlimited image optimizations and 100 gigs of built-in CDN all on the free tier. So we don't limit anything pretty much except for the users. users. So as, yeah. as soon as you start bringing on extra people, that becomes um seven bucks a month which is like that's still super cheap um, it's super nice too because that's been one of my complaints in the past with headless cms is like you get a really nice free tier if you get out of the free tier though you jump to like 50 or 100 bucks a month which is like fine for the right audience yeah. but it's hard for me to like create content around that because i'm not gonna for just like follow or a tutorial. Build your project around it because like yeah. future proofing it you're right. like oh cool like if i get successful now i'm swallowing 100 bucks like that's yeah, yeah. It, i'd have to be making a pretty good amount of money to like yeah all the hundred bucks yeah, um, that's, so that's always been one of my favorite features but yeah, yeah that's that's i'm i'm using my privileges as an employee a little yes, bit yes so fair enough um hack the coding ass just a reminder earlier what was what was the name of the uh figma plugin that you use I think, I think brad dropped it in chat but i i, I can drop it in chat too it's called html2 design can you hear my dog in the background she all of a sudden got hyper i can't Good. I guess that's the benefit of this uh this mic. I mean cool. she's just like running around on the um on the couch in here. Uh there was another question asking if we we're gonna show how to work with Prisix slice machine and new layout app folder structure next JS next JS thirteen. So this is a next JS thirteen project, but it is using the um pages previous folder. folder the pages folder structure instead of the app folder structure. Yeah, um, Angelo in chat might be able to better explain why, because I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on it right now, the technical reasons why we're, we're not able to use the new app folder structure just yet. Uh, one of the reasons is that it's in beta, and so like shaping our libraries to it as it is right now is just a, a, a little bit hairy, but there are also some other reasons just because you know it's React server components it's a bit tricky. So yeah, right now we're not able to, um, but we are working on it. And as soon as it hits, um, not beta, but like a full release, just standard. G um, GA generally is yeah. available. <laughs> uh, there we go. So Angelo says, Hey Jasper, Prismic doesn't officially work with the beta app directory right now. Basically, uh, we're waiting for some of the APIs to develop before we have an official integration. Thank you. Yeah. So beyond that, it, it, it works great with Next 13, um, just not the beta version of that new layout app structure. But good question. Cool. Thanks, Angela. Cool. So, um, shall we? Uh, so, I what I want to do today is build out one of those sections that has some variations to it. Um, it's a bit complex. It's 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 got some fun stuff that 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 we can do with it. So, I, I built out part of the page with the intent of let's build a slice together. Let's see how the whole thing ties together. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get into it. How does that sound for you? Cool. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, awesome. One question is there, yeah. so this is, and this maybe we're getting into like a bigger explanation of slice machine. Also slice machine needs like right access to prismic. Because it's machine. going to update data models inside of Prismic, like inside of the actual Prismic dashboard. Yeah. Is there, am I going to need to set an API key or something like some sort of credential locally? Good, good question. So uh, you should be logged in on your CLI. I, I only know that because we were talking earlier yep. about okay. logging in. So the, so it's not so much an API key, but it's it's that, that login. So with okay. Prismic CLI, you log into Prismic and uh, if you're so because you're authorized on yeah. that repository, you should be able to push to that. Cool. That's, that makes sense. So it's yeah. Prismic ha after logging in with Prismic, it has stored a personal access token on my machine somewhere secretly, safely. So that then when I pull another project down and I already have access to the given project inside of Prismic, uh, being able to connect to it is good. And I just asked that. So if anybody goes through and tries to do something like this if good you question. you will have to make sure you go through and authenticate at some point good question yeah 
Thank you for uh, yeah, thank you for pointing that out. And Kelvin, good to see you. Welcome. What's up, Kelvin? Cool. Um, so the the place that we're going to be making these um, these slices is in Slice Machine that allows us to build slices locally. It allows us to version control. Uh, should be nine 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 nine. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, no worries. Um, um, Nadondo says Prismic is so satisfying. Good love feedback. to hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Love it. You should so, get like a snippet of that. To yeah, right. Promote somewhere. Hundred <laughs> percent satisfying. Um, cool. So there are basically two types of of not data, but but there are two things that you 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 create in Prismic. One of them is custom types. And that is essentially a, a data model, like a page, like an author, like a blog post. It's basically the, the thing that can potentially hold slices if you want it to. So like an, an author custom type might have, you know, name and date of birth and um, address or something. Why would author have that? Anyway, and and their 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 avatar, right? So that might be a custom type that you 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 need in your project, and you can link that to a certain blog post through a content relationship. Um, but then slices are the page sections that say a page would have. So with custom types, you can build all kinds of of different sh structures. D sorry, I'm stuttering. Data structures. Um, and here we have navigation, page, and settings. So those are just the three things that the simple site needs. Uh, and we're going to be working on the page one in, in a little bit. But right now, we can just click into it just to see uh, what, what we have here. So page is a repeatable custom type. And because of that, we need a UID. So it has like a unique identifier, right? Um, and then a page will also have a title. A, a, title, a, a title. title. A title. It could be, it could uh, be a thing. It could be. <laughs> Um, a title and a parent potentially, if it is like a child page. Um, and then you see down here in, in the, the slice zone, those are the slices that are available to content editors when they're building on this page. If you click the update slice zone button over there on the right, we can, but we're not going to, but we, we can toggle off some of these. And as, as, as we build our new page, we're going to have to come back here and toggle it on. Mm -hmm. Uh, to say that we want these slices to be available on this custom type. So slices always belong to a custom type. That's kind of how the relationship works. So slices, they can't just stand alone. They 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 always belong to a custom type. Yep. Uh, cool. So now that we've kind of covered that, we can just hit save. It's it's fine. And um, maybe and, yeah. Maybe an example really quickly of like toggling those slices on and off so let's say on my personal website for example like i have blog post pages and mm -hmm. they would have a certain number of slices that i may want to use inside of a blog post i also might have a course landing page which like yeah are similar type pages but they're going to have different data and in this case slices that are enabled for each one so for each one I would have three or five or however many different slices that are specific to that page maybe there's some overlap but right. maybe on this one, you don't want some of the other ones, et cetera. Well said. Yeah, exactly. You, you nailed it. So you can share slices between all of your custom types. That's totally allowed. But as a developer, you might not want to have uh, some, you know, a wild pricing table on the contact oh, page. Yeah. And so <laughs> if, right, like, like just like there's certain things where yep. you want to help the, the, the content team to make the best choices and not yep. get confused or anything. Uh, one thing I, I do also want to point out, the screenshots there mm. on the slices make this so, so nice yeah. for content teams to know exactly what they're getting. They don't have to yeah. guess like, what's a logo cloud again? What is a what is a content showcase, right? Like th those names are just the best they came up with, but they're not great, right? But as soon as they see it, they go, right, that one. So that's, um, that's, that's always definitely helpful. one of the like nice benefits that I've seen with Slice yeah. Machine. Yeah. Um, Want to throw in one? Okay. Yeah, from Sorry, Russ. I'm, I'm, no, you're good. I'm doing you're good. the host thing. <laughs> Does he Push use your cell Russ phone? In the chat. I'm just gonna get into like <laughs> radio announcer voice. Do it. Um. <laughs> uh, does he use your cell host or is it cloud based? So what we're looking at right now is like Slice Machine is kind of embedded in the code and runs locally when you run it. It then propagates. We haven't seen this yet, but once you like define a slice in Slice Machine. You save that and basically push it up to the Prismic dashboard, which is where your content editors would be. 
So the slice machine stuff is in your code. It runs locally. Prismic is uh, cloud hosted where you don't have to do anything for it. And then your code just lives in a GitHub repo or wherever you store your code. Yeah. So you, you don't have to worry about updates or hosting fees or anything like that. Um, it's completely cloud-based we we host everything for you we update everything for you um so that's that that's one of like the differentiators where when you're looking at cms's um prismic is that we 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 host it for you. you you don't have to go and buy a digital ocean droplet um and spend five bucks a month or anything like that you don't have to update anything okay. i like that a lot if you need more control that that might be uh an, an issue for you but um yeah my my personal thing is take it off my hands. I want to do fun front end stuff. I, I don't mm -hmm. want to worry about the back end myself. So I'm with you. Yeah. Cool. cool. So if you want to head to slices is where we will create our next slice. We, we see those slices here uh, that I've already built out and just kind of uh, put in here. So if we head to the top, hit create a slice, we're going to create our new one. So um, I have this called and, and actually, um, do you have the Figma file open by chance? Uh, I don't have that. Actually, would have been good. Did you share the Figma? Yeah, but I can drop it here, and actually, did. anyone with the link can view. So I'm, I'm totally okay with uh, anyone dropping in just to kind of see what we're going to be working at. It might um, might help for people. I wonder if too. I would have seen. Let me grab did that. The work. Link. I see. I see. Uh, let me put it in the YouTube chat as well. Cool. And then let me see. I saw Richard in there. All of a sudden, you get that's, that's the that's oh. the fun part about Figma. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so if you uh, follow me, we've got this um, this kind of like features component here. So, um, this is kind of what it's what it is. I, actually, I'll, I'll I'll pull one of the examples over so we can look at it. Um, so this is one of the final ones, and then this is it kind of stripped down to its components, where there are, are a few different instances. Um, one where there's these like logo icons underneath. I, I guess yeah, just the logos, and that's that's here. Um, there's one where there's the cards underneath, and mm -hmm. then there's one where it's just a whole bunch of these users underneath, or or these uh, contributors to the Astro repository. And and yes, we and chat. I acknowledge how silly it is that we are making the Astro homepage in Next.js, <laughs> but it's a really good. It's a good homepage. Good homepage. For like that... a, a, a Amendment. demo. It's not overly complex. It's just in this like nice sweet spot. So yes, a little bit silly, a little bit weird, but we're making one framework in another framework. Um, so we uh, are going to start by building out this part, and then we will use the slice machine variations feature in order to have a yeah. variation for cards, have a yeah. variation for contributors, and have a variation for icons. And cool. that, yeah, it, I'm 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 excited to get into it. So. Cool. Um, I was going to call this like a features section or a feature slice or a features whatever. Does that work with you? It's yeah. it's, a, it's a weird so yeah. features slice. slice. Go for it. Let's do it. Um, Free PR for Astro. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, another <laughs> I'm a comment. big Astro fan. Yeah. I know. Yeah, same. Um, Joshua, another comment. Uh, so slices are synced with our Prismic. We'll see this in a second. There's a code representation of slices. Good call. That gets saved in the code. There is a save to file system button, which translates like me creating or editing something in Slice Machine, save that to the file that's in the code. And then there is another push to Prismic button, which will then send, send, that, send that configuration up to Prismic. And question of, could you use the same slices across different websites? Uh, you absolutely could if you have two different websites that are pulling from the same um repository and i don't know if you can share slices across repositories or not. so that's not built in like like th there's there's mm -hmm. not a way to have uh i mean you can do it where you pull it out into like an npm package and go through mm. a bit of not met Work, messiness but, but there's no like super optimized way to do that yet but as as you said and we're actually going to check this out right now so i appreciate you teeing us up for this uh we're going to look at the model that we just created so we just clicked create new slice and we typed in the name feature slice so if you go to the code we can actually see what did what did slice machine just do in our code base for us so go to the code do i need to yes. click the save the in file DS code. system Oh, that, uh, so no, that because save we didn't. Yeah, that part by default. We 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 haven't changed anything yet. But yes. yeah, good right. good call on 
clicking that early and oh, often. And VS Code even highlights yeah. green stuff. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Got some green stuff. I love <laughs> green stuff. Love green stuff. Yeah. So it created a feature slice um, folder. And in there, we have an index.js and a model JSON. So if we open the model, you can see that it's created a JSON file with basically these these default fields that we didn't create, but they're they're there just mm -hmm. as I said as as default fields. And we're going to be getting in here and removing those fields, adding some new ones, and we'll see this change over time. If you look at the index.js file, that also brought in those those default fields and is going to um, just kind of say, hey, this this is a template, like go in and change this. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's created our, our component for us. It's created our data model for us. And it's actually also created some mocks for us. So if we go back to Slice Machine, we, we can use something called Slice Simulator. So if you click the preview slice, uh, yep, that right there, that'll open a new window. And it'll actually show us. There we go. I'm like, uh-oh, right. demo is, it, <laughs> am I jinxed by the demo? Demo oh, gods, God. we're good. Exactly. So this is that component in kind of like a storybook setting where you have this component isolated. This is the isolated slice, and we can work on it in isolation with mock data. You see, we got some lorem ipsum stuff in here. And it just makes it a lot easier to build out your slice rather than having to run to your CMS, type in some mock data, come back. Like it's mm -hmm. the fact that Slice Machine gives you this area to build in isolation and mocks out of the box as soon as you create that field makes generating slices and shipping them so much easier. Anthony's here. Good to see you, buddy. I'm very glad you popped in too. He's he said, Alex, it. as a guest, I was like, yeah, he's not used to it. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my stream. Dang it. Welcome to James' stream. <laughs> welcome to our stream. Love it. Um, yeah. Oh, so... and one, one other thing to call out here that mm -hmm. is really cool is had we had our code styling done for this and then this looked actually like we want it to, this is where you can do the take a screenshot and that's what attaches to that preview thing for your slides. Go ahead and do that. Let's just make okay. sure that it's because like, this is working with Puppeteer, and sometimes yeah. Puppeteer can be a little screwy. And so I'm just, you know, just just one of those things where it works like 95% of the time. Um, it's a high percentage. <laughs> yeah. And this is just taking a little bit longer than I would expect. There we, uh, but it, it did it. All right, cool. cool. So we're good. So yeah, that actually goes in, uses Puppeteer, which mm. is based on Chromium and everything, to render and take... Uh, a screenshot of your slice mm -hmm. and right, right right now it's not very pretty no offense james uh hey. but it is you know it as as we build it out that's going to be available in the prismic editor for people to look at and say ah that's the slice that that, that that i want here and as we build variations each one will get a snapshot so it's even more useful yep um cool Love it. so um we oh. want to do the the fields for the different fields yeah. that we use. So, so if if we look at the Figma file, we can kind of like reverse engineer what 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 we want here, right? So, uh, starting from the top, I I I like to start with fields kind of like from top to bottom, so that uh, it it you know it makes sense to the editors as they're going through. Because mm -hmm. if uh, that that square at the top, as I said, like that's supposed to be in in an icon, and it is on the site, it just didn't get pulled in, right? Um, if we put that at the bottom or something, it, they, it's tougher to know where that icon is. So starting at the top, uh, we can put icon. Cool. And, and this will be, uh, this we're going to do a not, select for that. Okay. And this will be yeah. not repeatable. Correct. C correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, I'm glad you pointed that out. So it, we'll okay, here, if, if we just hop back real quick. Yep. Um, we, we, we have these two zones here, a non-repeatable zone and a repeatable zone. And I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, but at the same time, <laughs> might be confusing. And I think it's a lot more clear once you see it in the editor, where the non-repeatable zone, you can only have one title per slice uh, in, in this example. You only have one description per slice in this example. If we were to add, say, um, icon to the repeatable zone, that would allow editors to add icon after icon after icon, and we would actually map through that in our re React component. So... That's kind of the difference there is that whatever you put in the repeatable zone is going to come mm -hmm. in an array. 
and whatever you come oh sorry and whatever you put in the non-repeatable zone it's just going to be a standalone item. data yep yeah cool cool so um we can I, I i kind of always start by wiping out the two fields that that oh, it yeah. starts with um i call it like the the blender joke where if if anyone's ever done a blender tutorial uh every blender tutorial starts with all right uh choose everything in the scene and delete and get rid it. Of it like yeah. it's it's yeah like <laughs> There's a default cube that comes with it, mm -hmm. and it's just like, like this nope. thing that you always delete. So, <laughs> um, we're starting with an icon. Cool. And oh, is, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're starting with a select, select field that will because be we're going to give the editors a set number of icons to choose from. And I do have a list here somewhere of um, the options that I'm giving them. Uh, let me just. I, 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 I actually, if you pull up components, I'll 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 let you kind of. Like I'm, I'm not just going to give you a magic list of things. So if you open uh, the components folder in the code, sorry, if you go back to VS yeah. Code. So I've uh, created a little, yeah, up in components. components. Uh, the feature, feature icon. icon, cool. Yeah. So, um, oh right, I just okay. I I I, I was originally doing it as like a like a almost like a switch or, or 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 like an object, but then I found this plugin, and it just takes a string. So. So now you don't this know what the helpful. options are right off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so one sec, I'm I'm gonna grab them from our other slice real quick. So um, in content showcase, I actually already did this in the icon thing. Apologies, I I can read them out to you. Sorry for yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Cool. So it's gonna be all lowercase. A L L. No, so, I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my fault, man. Love it, love it. Uh, all right. Uh, the word document. Is, is is the first Document. one and um, we can just do a couple uh and then the word tools tools and then the word flash and we'll stop there flash boom and you know we we won't match up perfectly but um you'll <laughs> it, you, people will at least be able to see works uh, for me how how we can make that work <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. like the all a l l like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like okay uh, is that, would all some none that's yeah. what i was expecting uh and then if we so that's the icon cool so then i i call that next one eyebrow you can call it whatever you oh, want but that's purple. that's been yeah, yeah exactly cool. chat uh, what what would you what call would you, that yeah. <laughs> um i is go there a name key text for this? for this but you can yep. do a, a, a rich text but i prefer the key text is just a bit simpler rich yep. text gives you a lot more um v versatility in in what can come in that field but for this, I just want a string. Mm -hmm. So key text is just going to give me that string. Yep. So just the yeah. basic string versus actual rich text being the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Because the rich text, you can put an image in there. You can put a list. You can put a whole bunch of stuff in there. But you can also limit it. But if you're going to limit it already, I just go for key text. That's my personal preference. Love the Josh, eyebrow nickname. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah. Yeah. My, <laughs> my coworker at, 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 uh, at my agency that I worked at a few years ago, uh, called it an eyebrow i'm like that's so done because because it's not like a <laughs> subheading it's like a super heading or something yeah. right like above it's heading. weird yeah <laughs> so it's yeah eyebrow i'm like that works i'll yep i get it right as long so. as as long as people are in sync on the language that's all that matters yeah uh, uh and then sweet I, so then i do heading right heading yeah, and this will be the same thing, right? So just a piece of text. You can do key text. You can also do a rich text field here. Like like um, if, if you want to give them any options, like, like that's kind of how I see it is like mm. how many options do I want to give yep. um, for this? Do, do I want to lean back on the, yeah, yeah. So, so. Do... <laughs> super heading sounds pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that is super umbrella heading. Does sound heading. Cool. Umbrella's umbrella is umbrella, umbrella good. Umbrella's good, yeah. What's up, uh, Perseus? By the way, welcome. Uh, so, what it were you planning on using? Because I know inside of Rich Text, you have the ability to like choose H one, H two, etc. Let's actually hit hit cancel here yeah. and and sh and show that bit. So, yeah, go oh. go Rich Text here and do heading. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you okay. see, it's it's f we're choosing the field name, and it's giving you an automatic ID there. Mm -hmm. You can change that that. Automatic ID, if you'd like, it's just there to speed up your process. Um, yeah, and, and you can change it at any time. So yeah, so right, right there with the accept, exactly. You can unselect everything. Oh, so select wait. all. Uh, yeah. So no, if select you select all, all and then all. there you okay. go. Right. So yeah. And this so, would be an H2, not an H1. Yep, yeah, exactly. Because And uh, this is, a, this yeah. goes back to, sorry, like 
from a design perspective, content creators don't necessarily won't necessarily know that implication from a yep. best practices in terms of um, semantic elements. So like yep. one H1 on the page and then H2s for your different section headers. And this is a way for developers now to define the limitations, the boundaries for content creators to make sure that the appropriate information defined in the appropriate way is going to come through to the code from Prismic in the end. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan myself of guardrails, not guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, like, like setting this up so that content creators can add some text there or not, but when they add text there, it's going to be semantically correct. It's going to, you know, follow accessibility standards and those sorts of things. So um, slices allow you to give content editors, uh, content editors, the right amount of flexibility where it's not a full like drag and drop in in the sense of like oh th they can choose whatever color they want mm -hmm. and they can put text and images wherever and just like you know like it's not like a photoshop or a figma document where it's just like look i made a collage and now it's a website um <laughs> yay <laughs> yeah exactly like 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 you don't want to go full like wix or like completely in in the direction of like just absolute positioned images all over the place because that's like, too much <laughs> flexibility and then there's too much rigidity where the page, as as I kind of said before, it, it always has the hero and then the logo cloud is always second and it always has six images in it. There's always six logos. You can't have five, can't have seven, right? It, it, like, like too much rigidity for a page kind of kills creativity, kills any kind of like, oh, there's a Black Friday deal. We've got to ship a page quick. Let's ar arrange a bunch of slices and boom, we're done. You can't do that that quickly if you only have certain page structures. So like the, the slice is like this perfect in, in between where it's not too flexible. It's not too rigid. It's, yep. it's the Goldilocks of, of components. Goldilocks. We got to yeah, clip that. That's the quote. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Um, uh, cool. Okay. So we, cho we chose heading and then we limited it, limited it to an H2. Yep. And then in Figma, we have like description or like subheader text or... Yeah, or yeah, I mean, I, I go body or description. Body. I, yep. I do just, just, just one of those. Um, cool. So add new field. And this will be rich text. Any, I was going to say anything that is... Can this, this can't be multiple lines, right? Like from a creating Not really, perspective. No. Yeah, so anything yeah. that's going to be like an actual paragraph would be rich text. And we said body for this. Yeah, that's what I like. And then, yeah, I always go in. Um, you can click allow multiple paragraphs to turn that on. Yep. And then, yeah, I, I do what you were about to do of turning off H1s. Yeah, yep. I like to limit it so that they can do bulbs here, maybe, right? They can do... I guess they could do... Well, we probably don't want, from a design perspective, we probably don't want yeah. any headers, right? Yeah, yeah. like like I'm thinking like bold, <clears throat> may, maybe a code snippet so that that's, the, that's that PRE uh, one. Uh, a, a, mm. a link is fine. I would take off an image and like, you yep. know, we're getting into the nitty gritty here uh, of, mm -hmm. of our fictitious Astro site. <laughs> but, um, and this is, and this is where like, if you're building something real, you have the ability to control when you need to, and you have the ability to give flexibility when you need to as well. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You just want to try to not hand foot guns to, to people. Right? <laughs> it's just, yeah. Like, oh, I, 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 I didn't know that an H1 there would be a bad thing. Well, yeah. Like, oh, I should have. Put Seemed like a good idea out. at the time. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Sweet. And the next one is is uh, kind of a twofer where we want to have a key text for the actual string there, deploy mm -hmm. your first Azure site, but then also a link field for the URL that we're that we're going to collect. So, so key you text. can do and yeah, like or how or, do you yeah, call so, like CTA text or what did you call this? Yeah, sure, CTA text. Um, yeah, that 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 that, that works for me. I'm good with that. Okay, text. Cool. And then the next one is an actual link. Yeah. And this link. is this is kind of interesting. I don't I don't think I've yeah. seen link properties uh, the way we will here. So let me go ahead and do cool. CTA link and add this. And then inside of here, um, oh, when we when we create it, you define when you actually add the data for this property. You get to choose whether or not editor. you're like linking, yeah, in the editor, linking to yeah. an external website or to something else, which I thought was cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, it uh, for for chat, like it allows you to either link to internal documents. So if you're going from the home page to the about page, you don't have to like mm -hmm. type slash about. You just choose the other document. 
Um, oh, or you yeah, can type yeah. in okay. google.com and, it, and it'll, it'll, yeah. it'll send you there. So cool. cool. So th that's that one. And then here, um, I think if, if we go back to Figma. That's it for like the core part, right? So we got that's all it for the of core part. Here. I yeah. say, I say we, we build this core part out before we get into variations. Mm -hmm. So yep. as I said, we kind of got like the, the cards and the icons and the contributors. I say we just build this part out and then we can start to get into uh, the variation. So did did cool. we save that? Uh, well, I was going to just remind our audience. Oh, cool. nice. uh, here's here's what the code looks like before the model.json. And then uh, go ahead and save to the file system. Cool. <laughs> and uh, come back. And now it's added all the extra things. There's eyebrow and heading and body. CTA text link, et cetera. And items, that's the repeatable stuff. So we don't have any of that yet. Um, yep. But that'll be coming in a little bit with some of the variations. Yeah. yeah, exactly. By the way, we we like didn't publicly address the whole like Anthony said he had a Wix website for his band in 2016. And I was like, I was gonna let it go. I want to see no, I, yeah, I couldn't um... I couldn't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the website, the website totally no longer fair. exists, which uh which is that's or the shame. domain labs. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've shared on my stream many times, um, <laughs> that what, one of my not first in, initiatives, but the one I went like hardest on as a teenager was free basketball skills.com. And if you use the way back <laughs> machine, you can find versions of free basketball skills.com where like it has my, my skinny legs dribbling and, and all, all kinds of images and me talking or, uh, teaching people how to do a crossover dribble and stuff. It's, it's it's that adorable like oh I was a I was a weird child making websites and <laughs> teaching was... people basketball and I never made a basketball team that, that I didn't boy. like that that oh, yeah like I was never on the school team but I, I hey if you can't do teach right it's just you know, how it is you know they always yeah. ask um like do you have to be an expert to give talks and to do live streams nope, and not at all record content on how to dribble a basketball the answer is no. <laughs> no. CEO free basketball skills.com right yeah. here. <laughs> so yeah, live your dreams, love folks. It. You have to be uh, capable of saying words to give a talk. hundred percent. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, this is great. Cool. So we have, um, we, we've cre created, uh, all, all of those fields now, and now we kind of want to just style them. Right. So what we can do to, to, uh, so like, sorry, I'll, I'll start over. I was saying before, it can be kind of a pain to now get this data into our components and figure out exactly uh, what this all looks like. And Slice Machine makes that really simple. So if you click the Show Code Snippets button, right, so the white one, yeah. Snippets. So we don't have to really wonder how to pull this content in anymore. So slice primary dot icon, that's going to be coming in as, as a string. It's even right there as slice primary icon, but it like it gives us a little code snippet to put it in, inside a span if we'd like. But then even for our prismic rich text components, it shows us how to pass that mm -hmm. field into prismic rich text, how to import the prismic rich text component from prismic IO react. And it just kind of gives you this shortcut to not having to figure out like, what does this look like? But you you just get it right there, and it's uh it's it's really handy. So yeah. we're we're gonna be using this, uh, and we can start to pull this into our slice. So if you want to just copy that top one, sl slice primary yeah. icon. Let's grab just, that. just so we can pull it in. Cool. So we've got that, and then we're gonna go down to our slice, our feature slice at index.js. So JS, and inside of here, so does it ever do more code generation? For this, it just gives you this default component to start, and then you go yeah. and layer in the snippets when yeah. if you need them. Cool. Yeah, and and I, and the main reason for that is just like it gets risky once you start. Like 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 once you've created the file, that's one thing. But modifying mm -hmm. files, you yep. might start to run into things where it's like, no, that was a file that I was I, I had done. I Please don't touch on. that. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. So so that's the thing where like as you're building developer tools like these, you want to make sure that you you aren't overwriting anyone's work. So yeah. one, maybe it's useful, maybe it's not. Uh, potential thing would be to have like a copy all snippets button mm. and then like actually copy yeah. all of this in line that's and nice. be able to paste it in. Yeah, because that'd be yeah, because that's what we're kind of about to do. Right? Yeah, I'd just be yep. back and forth. Uh, anyone on the team watching? <laughs> write that one down. Fe that's, feedback cycle. Yeah, that's really handy. Yeah, that would, would um, be an, an instant kind of. Wow. Yeah. So I always just gut the section 
from, from the, the start from there. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, oh, here, let me, I wonder if this will work with, let me see if it works with my multiple clip history. It does. So what I'm going to do nice. is copy all go. these. If people don't have a multiple clipboard history, you at, have to. It's wild, the difference. Yeah. Windows has one built in. Also, your cursor thing is really fun. I like that a lot. Um, What's my cursor? It, it it grows and shrinks from the top to bottom. Oh, That's people ask fun. me about that in videos all the time. And it's just like... Um... Also, what font is this? What theme is this? What font is this? What <laughs> theme things. is this? <laughs> are you yeah okay so uh, you're making fun of the way youtube works because that's it's, it's fine yeah i mean like like to, the to, only... to anyone out there who's curious it's it's fine i'm, yeah. I'm not not ragging on you but um yeah it's just a a, a very common yes comment and, and it can be especially funny when you're like trying to show off like hey check out this awesome thing that i did or that like i really want to teach you this thing and people are just like what font is that like <laughs> But did, but did it is, yeah. thing? It's, just, yeah. <laughs> it's it's just it's just never the thing that we're trying to show off. I know. Uh, but honestly, we should just make videos saying check out this coding font or check out this theme, and we would get millions of views. Honestly, I do. So. I do have videos like that. You're a genius. What font is that? Uh, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I hadn't thought. Great question. Uh, it is. If you're being serious, it's Cascadia code. But here's here's what I've started to do is sending everyone now that I've recreated mm -hmm. my users page. Mm -hmm. Anytime anyone asks me a questions. A question about my setup. I just throw nice. them a link Smart. to this. And ideally what I'll do is like actually build this page as a funnel to something. I don't yeah, know exactly smart. like what kind of funnel it'll be, but like have have somewhere else to lead them than just <laughs> use this. Maybe I'll do ooh, maybe I'll do like a cheat sheet for like my setup or something. I don't know. Like oh, oh, like a download thing. Like like yeah. um like a, a collector email nice. for it. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, Ben Myers and Jason have good ones. Um, oh, cool. West Boss, I think, kind of pioneered it or yeah. at least popularized it. Um, he definitely did when he he also did the uses.dev page. Yeah. Where he like like has the repository of all of them. Yeah. Ben Myers. That's about oh. No E there. Ben is wonderful. They're they're just a the... that's such a good looking site. I'm gonna keep this to Yeah. That's ben, cool. Ben's great. Um all right, cool. So uh, we have a little bit of funkiness there, just a glitch in the matrix somewhere. Uh, we have two Prismic React imports or two Prismic Rich Text. Yeah, the top. sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> How dare you? Matrix, yeah. I oh, know. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, <laughs> uh, Stamond, uh, thanks for playing the game. <laughs> I gave you the answer just in case you were serious. Yeah, yeah. All good. And 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 I I'm definitely backtracking on the making fun of of people thing uh james and i appreciate you watching anything that anything that we put out if you have any question if you engage with it at all we we, we are appreciative uh right here on alex's damn. here on alex's stream we appreciate all engagement <laughs> yep thank you for being here appreciate it uh, it was weird that i named my stream after you but yeah uh, no, you know it's I'm done flattered. wonders for my numbers I'm so yes. yeah it's been good <laughs> beating you on seo now um <laughs> cool so we have uh prismic link my link <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so now, if if we save that, we should be able to go back over and look at uh, this preview? slice inside the preview slice. Yeah, in, in inside our slice simulator, and just see some dummy content coming in. Cool. So we see nice. everything's there. My link is the only hard coded thing there. Wait, did I actually have quick there? That's that's funny. That apparently that's, the, that's uh, hilarious. Yeah, and yeah. AJC is throwing. There James Q. Trost and Alex James Quick Q. in the Trost. chat. My cousin's name James. Yeah. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. my my cousin's name is James. Wow. What a <laughs> what a fascinating rare fact to throw well, out there. If you were gonna say James Q, that would have been special. Q would but, have been yeah interesting, yeah. but it just yeah, James is like pretty common. You know another James in the entire world? What? Yeah, David. Any great playground? question. Um, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. Were you about to hit that? Uh, no. Go for it. Yeah. Um, we are actually working on that right now. So currently, we we, we have some great starters. If you want to head to, uh, let's see, Docs. Let me just drop this hold in on, chat. Hold, hold, you are oh, don't, on don't, hold on, hold on. Don't use that. Don't use that. Hold on. No? Um, because he gave me this ridiculous link that I want to send people. Yes, please, please. Ridiculously send that cool link. link. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's in the word there. I know. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. Uh, where do you send that in our private messages? Yeah. So cool. it's, I'll put Thank this you for in stopping there. me. Um, no. Yeah, but 
for to answer David's question, we are working on a playground to make it so that you can kind of play on on Prismic yeah. with the experience. Angelo, if, if you're here, you might be able to chat or just explain a small bit about that and like where, although that might be on, on pause right now. But um, yeah, the starters should get you up and running within just a couple minutes and allow you to move slices around or push uh, content up to your repository and uh, make it real easy to kind of get the full experience and create new slices, see how it it all works and how it all inter interconnects. So yeah, this is uh, these are the starters. So if, if you scroll up a little bit, you can grab any of these starters, whichever uh, tickle your fancy. And they are really well crafted. Angelo in chat uh, is actually the one who uh, worked heavily on these and uh, did, did a great job kind of putting these together. James loves Next.js. I did love you, that. Did you see that? That's like no, I didn't. I didn't realize that my... that was a link. That's so good. Py in chat, you you are fantastic. Yes. Um, cool. Yep, check out the starters for some examples. There are also some how to articles in the docs for common content navigation SEO. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, but David, we 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 are working on making it so that you can get that like wow factor within a few seconds. Um, but right now, we are especially working on making Slice Machine available for more frameworks, making the uh, UX or the DX, I guess, of it even better. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to nail those, those parts, but also make onboarding, uh, and getting the, the real value out of Prismic, uh, to be more apparent too. So lots of stuff going on, but I appreciate the question. Uh, cool. So we can see that we are getting our mock data coming in. So, so as soon as you see mock data, you know that you're essentially wired up to your repository in the real thing. So like in, in Slice Simulator, it's only using mock data that that that, that data hasn't been added mm -hmm. to the CMS or anything. But just in Slice Simulator, it, it allows you to build quickly so you don't have to go and add dummy content. We've all been there. Like I feel like the, the process used to be uh, build up the component with just like hard with coded static text. dummy content. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And then fetch your data, pipe it down into your components, pass it down from the page level into your component and then you wire it up and make sure it's all set and then go like add some dummy data in the cms and then remove that for the good content you don't have to do any of that anymore you can build it all in simulator it's already wired up from step one right like we're already ready for cms content mm -hmm. and you can just go like like that uh, that aspect is uh is super nice um do you want to, should we go to styling of this next or should let's we go it. to actual Prismic dashboard of showing that data or showing um, that? Let's, let's do style, style this super quick. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Okay. I think we can do it relatively quick. Let's see what we got. Um, and in, inside of the, do you actually have code behind the scenes? Like, like do I have code ready? Yeah. We can or you, borrow. Or we do this on the fly? So we we can or we can borrow because um, if you look at content showcase, like if, if you go back to, um, excuse me, if you go back to uh, Slice Machine and look at content showcase, like in the in the Slice Machine dashboard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So and, and if you go over slices uh, to content showcase, that 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 first one, um, if you see, this is pretty much the same thing. Okay. So we can go steal. Oh, yeah some of the styles and stuff from content showcase so inside of content showcase so we can grab some of that we'll just have to swap out um some of these things but yeah yeah and and pretty much I'll stop uh at, yeah and we'll, I'll we'll remove off. the content tabs yeah. thing but yeah um okay so doubled up on okay. section content tabs goes away uh get rid of that section need the feature what's the shortcut to do the auto import because what i would do is oh, i would no, type man. it in again that's and then... that's what i do if, okay. if anyone in chat knows i would love you forever i know um, yeah i i always have to start typing it again and then hit tab yeah and then sometimes it doesn't always work and i don't know why um yeah <laughs> i don't know why is... yeah why, why why don't you love why? me uh um, so all of Anthony, this thank you for sorry commenting that no 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 just um Justin in the chat says, will this work for the T3 stack? And Anthony says, and anything that works with Next.js should work with the Create T3 app. So yeah, I, I have not. Um, it is, it's Theo Brown's framework. That's like a, it's like a meta meta framework or a super meta framework. 
okay. Anthony, tell me what it Super is exactly. Um, but it it combines T. I'm, I'm going to botch it. It's got some Prisma, n- n- not Prismic. Uh, yeah, how often do you make that mistake? Uh, yeah, th- th- that's a common one. Uh, Next.js and maybe like one other thing. Uh, nope. I, okay. It's it, 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 it those three. Okay. TRPC. P3. Cool. TypeScript, TRPC, Tailwind. Okay. Yeah. yeah gotcha. And Tailwind. So, that, that that was the fourth one. Thank fuller. you, Justin. Cool. Yeah. I, I, cool. I, for, for having never used it, I, I uh, you, yeah, there's <laughs> some stuttering and stumbling some, through it. I nailed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flawless. Um, cool. So yeah, it, sh- it should work fine, but I've, I've never used it. I'm, I'm not familiar with T3 beyond that list of three or four that I just said. Um, cool. So we've already got uh, our mock data in. Yeah. There now it I'm is. curious. Oh, yeah. I guess this is why. So I was actually I was actually going to say another alternative that we could do is to go to our local host 3000 to view this. But and this is this is kind of the benefit of having this separation of like building and testing the component models, which is your slices and then right. styling them is I would have to go and enter information into Prismic before I could actually see this in my site being rendered. Yeah. But inside of the preview, I can just come to the preview and it gives me the dummy data, which is a, like very small nice feature to just right. have that right there is is like it's like oh that's that's like really nice um, yeah so then i can and do my testing here all of that stuff is good except for the cta link because we copied over some basic code yeah and and uh it gives yeah like <laughs> i i think people love the some words there said oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's what i said about you <laughs> yeah, <that's> so good <laughs> um it it, <laughs> it 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 like this right right here uh, gives a similar developer experience to like Storybook without all of that setup that can come with Storybook. Like I I love Storybook, but it's also um, another thing to maintain, right? Like mm-hmm. it it it's it's a, a whole app to itself. Um, we we actually do work with Storybook. I do want to say if you're using Storybook, you can use that with Slice Machine. We'll generate stories and everything. It is. It's a really nice setup, but we found that a lot of people just trying to get the hang of Next.js and Prismic, having to learn Storybook also was a third mm-hmm. thing. And so we, we wanted to give a simpler alternative. So yeah. this is like out of the box, but you can also use this with Storybook and build in isolation in Storybook. So another bonus there. And you can get snapshots from Storybook. So if you love Storybook, this will integrate really well with that too. I still need to hands-on just do basic like hello world stuff with storybook because i just I, have, there's, I mean there's a million different yeah. things that I, like i did the state of javascript surveys today and it was like like so many of my answers were like heard of it would love to use heard of it would love to use heard of it yeah. would love to use because i that's, just like, that's the ecosystem though man it's like yeah. oh how many how, mm-hmm. fresh yeah <laughs> sure i would love to use that it's a dino in in general or uh, i don't even know how to pronounce it honestly but i, I want to try yeah. it t3 yep. app want to try it Sounds yeah fun. anyway yeah anyway um i got to meet um yeah luca from from fresh is that right okay that's the one he did right let me double check uh i think he did did he not do fresh on top of that but he's a tech lead lead for dino and i think he did fresh on top i'm not 100 sure about that but i got to meet him in um in london redwood's another like one go that's awesome though yeah redwood that, that sounds fantastic anthony on the redwood the team one. yes yeah. you are the redwood team <laughs> no that's that's a super cool one um cool so we've got this we got some basic styles here um there's something going on with the link though let's just finish up that one yeah um, we just never link. styled it because that wasn't in the code that we copied over so we just have oh okay cool yeah so uh so we would make do we want to pull that up into the div so that it, it, it's at least because right now it's there you go. cool and uh put the cta text yeah because right now it just Inside says my link here. yeah exactly slice that primary dot cta text cool um if people just... wanted to do is there any direct typescript integration with any of this um so like for generating typescript types yeah so we just brought this in uh if if, if angelo's here he might be able to give i i'm, I'm gonna keep kicking stuff to angelo so yeah. a- angelo is the development experience engineer uh along with lucy uh on on mm-hmm. the team that has built out uh basically the entire client and 
whole bunch of our, our SDKs and we just brought TypeScript into Slice Machine, but for some reason, uh, the JS doc isn't working right now. Um, but he, he might be able to explain more around that. Um, so yes, we, we have done a lot of work towards TypeScript. Um, we even made a CLI generator, but we've since pulled, uh, that same logic into Slice Machine. But for, for, for this example right now, of course, it, it, it wasn't working this morning. So, um, it's <laughs> there. We, yep. we will be fixing it within the next couple of days, cool. um, just to, uh, just to make sure that that's up and running again. Yeah, um, nice. I know Anthony, I, I assume is like semi kidding, but he said if there isn't a TypeScript integration, people are going to lose their minds, which I mean, it, it's it's really yeah. cool because TypeScript is becoming more and more mm -hmm. popular and more and more converts, like people that just never saw the need for it, like myself, and then tried it. And now it's like, I I don't like not having it. So that, yeah. I think that would be a, a very nice like tie in to the whole thing. Uh, uh, well, and and that's the thing. Like, I'm working on that that Astro project that I mentioned, and it's and I'm running the CLI that generates types, and you just don't have to guess at anything. It's just it's mm -hmm. all right there. It's yeah, it, it, it's lovely. So for me, like right now, my my current state of like, am I developing in TypeScript? Uh, I'm developing with tools written in TypeScript, and loving it. And but I'm mm -hmm. still writing in JS. So like, I I, I yeah. want to go over to TypeScript eventually, um, but. John, uh, no. have, John, having your no. tools written in TypeScript. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. I'm I'm on board. Um, so Angela says, "Yep, auto generated when you create and edit slices or custom types. The Prismic client auto integrates the types, and JS docs are added to slices. But right now, mm -hmm. there's something that we 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 noticed like this morning. It was like, ah, hmm, mm -hmm. something's weird. But yes, Happens. it's 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 all there." Anthony said, "T create T three app is what got him into TypeScript. Got it. Nice. Is Redwood not?" Is Redwood not TypeScript by default? I would have thought it was, although it may not be. I'll let Anthony answer yeah. that because I don't know. But I need cool. to spend some time again with Redwood. Sorry, side conversation. I need All to good. spend time All with good. everything. Yeah, that's right. That's the thing. Um, cool. So now, we, now we've got it in in line. Honestly, for me, for for the sake of this demo, that's good enough. I just wanted to move mm -hmm. it over and get the the demo text uh, there. Cool. So now uh, let's create some variations. We can keep the the default variation just this, like without cards or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's go back to Slice Machine. Nice. And this is now, something I'm yeah. sure I'm sure they showed me this before, mm -hmm. but I had forgotten about this. And this is cool. I like this a lot. The variations where, where we're going. Yeah, 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 With, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So just uh, before we go. Click that update screenshot button because I, I just want the satisfaction of having yeah. uh, not that. So yeah, capture screenshot from Slice Simulator. Oh, that's cool. So it's, it, yeah. It'll pop it open. And... Will it close that tab too or do I just I'm not go sure. Back? Go go back and see if it updated that. Did, did it? No. Interesting. Maybe it just maybe it just opened that tab for It might have just opened it and then we have to click it again. Or maybe All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll work on that. Yeah. Small things. There we go. That was a lot faster than last time. Um, um, and if you re if you click the refresh button, you up oh, there you go. So it, it it updated there. It's just a state issue, I think. If you if you well, hit the refresh, refresh on the page, I think that should do it. There we go. So, it's not not a ton better, but it's at least that's cool. It's, yeah, yeah. It's something cool. So now uh, the reason we want to do a, a a variation just to remind chat and for people who came in a little bit late, um, if we just show them like the Astro page. Uh, yeah, so actually here I'll I'll go to Figma and if you just like follow follow. Is there a follow me. mode in Figma? Yeah, so, you know... so if if you click on interesting, am I not? Oh, so the 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 A at the top. So next to the share button, if you click A, that's me. Oh, there you go. Follow me on so as I zoom out, zoom in. Yeah, okay. So I can uh, give you a, a that was tour. sweet. That was yeah, cool. Nice. Like the zoom effect of how it went to your cursor was really right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, transitions are everything, man. Yeah. Um so we have this uh, slice that, that that we're building, and chat as you can kind of see, it has like, like like these two are pretty much identical in terms of how they work, and we're going to kind of call that the icon one, right? So like mm -hmm. it, it has icons at the bottom, yep. but then this one has cards. It's the same as at, at up the top, but the bottom has cards, but it's still part of the same slice. Mm -hmm. We don't want to break that up into a different slice, partly because it's like 
semantically incorrect. You don't want to break this out of the section because this is still part of part of that section. That same information exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then this one is kind of its own thing where it's just like here are all the contributors. Uh, I made a quick little component that just renders like seventy five circle divs, and we'll just we'll throw that at the end. But that's the third of variation. In code, you did. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. In code, you did that where it generates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like I, I've I've got a component that's that's just waiting for us to just throw in there. Cool. Good deal. Yeah. So if we can, uh, yeah, let's let's hop into doing that. So if we want to go down to yeah, exactly, and then hit new oh. variation, right? Um, uh, so variation name, we can start with icons, or 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 uh, what did we icons. call those components to start? Like, um, um, what's the name of this thing? What do we got? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Featured, feature slice. Is that right? I don't. Yeah, I don't think we have to call it. I'm, I'm trying to think exactly. I I don't normally put feature slice with icons as the the. Yeah. Just yeah. say with icons. I was icons, just doing. I, I think it's good. I didn't right. Know no, that's what, the example anyway, does yeah. confuse. No, for, for for sure. I I think with icons should be good. If not, we can we can change the name. That works. Um, and then duplicate. That's Absolutely. cool. So yeah. after you create another one, you could duplicate from default or the other one that you created. Yeah, exactly. So we hit submit. Um, yeah, Angela's saying prefix isn't necessary. Cool. Cool. I Thanks, was buddy. just kind of following what it seemed to imply. Cool. So now, yeah. So at, at the top, you can kind of see the structure of it. If you go, to, so we're in all of our slices. Feature this slice. is the feature slice, and with then this icons. is the with icons cool. uh, variation. I stutter on V words. I'm sorry. Really? Variation. So yeah, yeah, it's just I I have a stutter and certain letters at the beginning are of the word worse than others. Really? Harder than others. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's a little annoying. Interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, because this is the one with icons, we're gonna go, gonna go to the repeatable zone, and we're just gonna add a new field, and we can add an image. Ooh. Um. Hold on. Let me kick somebody yep, out of chat. No worries. I didn't have that video. I didn't have the YouTube one up. So let me open it really quickly. All good. Sorry, everyone. For for the record, James isn't jumping on on a deal right now. He's he's trying to moderate. <laughs> a deal? What did I make it sound that way? No, 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 uh, no. Just, just, just like, ooh, hold on one second. Yeah. Just ma making clear, you're just trying oh. to get rid of spam. Yeah. I don't see it in. Oh, interesting. So YouTube. If, if people are on have... YouTube, can you let me know? Unfortunately, if you see the spam message still. So I just opened up the YouTube page and I don't see. Do you do you, do you have any mods that might have gotten rid? Like, I don't you? know. Yeah, because okay. that's one of the things I YouTube have might have caught it after the fact. Maybe. Yeah, that that might be what it is. Oh, I think actually from inside of here. Oh, I forget inside of Streamyard they've got um they've got mod stuff. Okay. Cool. So oh, just, okay. Cool. I, block I was wondering. It. Yeah. If I select what? live chat, I see spam, Angelo says. So hopefully blocking them removed that. Not I don't anymore. know. Uh, it, cool. Okay, cool. Nice. Thank you, Angelo. Sweet. Appreciate okay. the feedback, yeah, buddy. Thanks for, thanks for helping me out there, everyone. Yeah. Had to pause and take care of that. Okay. Uh, remind me, so now we're, image. we're adding we're, we're, we're field, adding icons, which in this case will be an image. Yep. Cool. Yeah. We just call this icon. Icon, that, that works. Um. And so just as a reminder, because this is in, the, is in the repeatable zone, editors can add as many icons as, as they want here. Um, and for this, we don't need like text. It's not a card. We just need icons. So that's probably yeah. all we're doing for this one, right? Yeah. I mean, like technically the, um, oh. the actual site has links out to it. Um, okay. So we, you, we, like, we could add a and... URL for the sake of time here, chat. Yep. We're just going to stick with an icon cool. and uh the prismic image fields come with an, an alt text space mm. so you you never have to add like image a and field then a for, field for uh, all yeah. cool gotcha yeah so th that's already included okay. um awesome. yeah so yeah we're, we're 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 gonna skip the link just to get it out the cool. door so if you hit save to file system um yeah. you can now actually uh well or actually we'll do that in a second um Let's go to VS Code and let's just mm -hmm. or or um sorry let's grab that code snippet I'm all over the place. Oh and yeah, I forget about that. That's a great call because I forget to do this. Yeah, the code uh, snippet might code. be a little bit off. No, oh, no, but it does. Right, it's got the map in it and everything. It. Perfect. Yes, I, I yes. doubted the code snippet. And I shouldn't have. Don't um, never. So 
So here's, gonna yell here's at me the thing. For not using next image. It is for sure. Yeah. Um, but we will alleviate that shortly. Um, one thing that we we want to do here is we want to take into account that variation, right? So we actually yeah. mean like we could uh assume that you know if there are icons then just render them but i think it's it's a lot cleaner if you go off the variation and yep. then you render components based on that rather than hey do you have any icons mm -hmm. right like then i can assume that you're the icon variation yeah. i don't think that's as clean cool um so we can create uh like a component that would act essentially like a switch component um so what we could do is down below this component um if you just create like um i don't know what would you call that like With uh icons or, or it... so, okay so i'll i'll ex ex I'll, I'll explain more this component is going to switch what it renders based on um the variation, the variation. string that comes in yeah so variation if... switcher love it let's do it <laughs> we're, we're shipping it chat we're shipping it variation if you switcher. want a different name chat we're accepting PRs, all right? That's the, <laughs> oh, is this? Am I actually going to push this code to the thing? <laughs> you just like, Either huh? Way. Either I was like, no, don't put, don't put that pressure on me. Cool. It has to um, be perfect. Also, Husky's going to smack it down. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, with this, we are going to take in essentially the uh, the... the the slice. I, I, I think, yeah. Let's okay. just take in the slice, okay. and then we can pull things off of that. Um, so now that we have a variation, uh, we're going to have a default and a with, with icons, uh, as, as our two that, that we can possibly have. So we're going to check in, in this switch, what the value of slice.variation is. Mm -hmm. And based on that, so if you want to do switch. Oh, an actual switch. I don't even know. I can do if else. Yeah, like yeah, no. So, 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 uh, I, I do the same thing, the second one, and then hit tab. So. Boom. You remembered how to do a switch statement. <laughs> Did um, it. Yeah. Uh, and we can return the, uh, the switch statement when, when you're done. Yeah. And then slice dot. You can return a switch directly. Can you, can you not? Uh, no, um, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, just put the, you, the return you, inside. You, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll do the return inside. Duh. Thank right. you. Thank you. Slice that variation. Slice that variation. And so this and will then, be a string. Yeah. So I think it was with, is it underscore icons or let's see. Let's uh, just like with, this. Oh, perfect. All right, cool. That's it. Uh, so, did it just change to default or did you change that? I think I scrolled on something and I didn't mean to. Oh, weird. That was be that interesting was to know. Oh, it, I scrolled and it hit the back button. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, so it's not a, <laughs> it's not your fault. It's a me on the keyboard. No worries. Um, um, cool. cool. So if if with, with icons we can return that essentially, just in parentheses, right? Or would it have to be inside like a div or something? Uh oh, or just, just outside you... of the brackets and in, in oh yeah. We're not showing showing or... my incompetence here. Um. And then, and then default yeah. is just return. Yeah, or just return a string or something. Yeah, yeah. Can you return Perfect. a string? Mm, probably not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Fair what enough. What is React? What is um, um? So do you? I guess you just get rid of the breaks if you have a return. So that'll do. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, this will be like. It says tailwind in it, so just like yes, flex, exactly, and yep. then space two or something works for me. Yeah, let's uh, let's see how that. Oh, div, right? Oh, the I go slide, up here. Yeah. Cool. Small things in life. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's gonna yell at us. We'll fix that in a sec. <coughs> My apologies. All right, cool. So oh, now good. we put the variation switcher in there. Nice. And then and then uh, pass the it the slice. slice. I like this. That's that's really nice. Yeah, got that from uh, guess who? Angelo. Shout out to Angelo. What nice. is next used for? Uh, good question. So next is pretty much used for 
everything that that you would normally use next for and I, I i know that sounds like a silly answer but like for rendering the pages for the routing for uh we, we actually lean on next image with our prismic next image component hmm. um yeah so all the benefits of next uh and the data fetching the the different ways that you can yeah uh, your pages fetch that and yeah exactly yeah so render stuff yeah and if yeah. if you're going even higher level, um, Next is a it's a meta framework on top of React, so it has a bunch of stuff built in that React by itself does not. If you're yeah. going like super highest level. Um, yeah, good question. Um, so here we can fix this super quick by importing uh, Prismic Next Image, and if you just start typing it, it should Prismic Next Image. There we go. Nice. And then uh, instead of source, it's field. We we pass it the field and because of that we're not going to pass it the url because that's that's a that, yeah so we're going to just pass it icon oh okay cool and then uh it, it doesn't need an alt because it's going to take that alt automatically from image. prismic now what's it yelling at us for i don't know uh, react component that renders an image from prism uh missing no, key oh prop. key is ah. we're inside always of a always map. gets me yeah yeah um <laughs> You'd know. think like that's been a React thing since day one, I and I still, even today, I've been like, "What's what's this error?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still gets me. Um, what cool. is the key? <laughs> cool. So if we check this out in Slice Simulator after saving, uh, oh, that's a good call. That's a good. Um, I guess there's the pot yeah. small potential that you could have the same URL, although that feels very unlikely. Yeah, um, I I do seems... I a, a a lot when when it's not moving around, but probably not not mm -hmm. not best practice. Like yep. if I know it's going to be static like this, I mm -hmm. I go the lazy way. Uh, yep. Cool. So we've got that. We should see something in Slice Simulator now. It'll probably only give us one little image. Um, uh, ooh, so change the thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, we got an error. Uh, Reading. Cannot read. Oh, oh, item. it's because it's not image. It's. Angelo, uh, this is all Angela. you. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Stop helping. <laughs> and Angelo, I'm putting you on. Uh, there we go. I'm putting you on a 30 second um, ban. <laughs> yeah, Angelo, you thought we could think for ourselves. Uh-uh, we're copy pasting that, buddy. Yeah, um, if there's anything cool. other than copy paste, uh, yeah. you're asking a lot. So Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Slice Machine's going to give us this mock image. And so we can automatically start cool. to style that. Um, let's just throw a tailwind like I don't know uh, W dash twelve H dash twelve for like yeah. the width and, can, and height or can something, you do, or or maybe like six or something. Class name. Do, yep. Do you do class name directly on the prismic component? On the on the on the image one, I'm almost positive. Yeah. Okay. The 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 other ones get a little more complicated. And I'll, I'll I can explain by there. You go. Cool. Maybe um, I don't know. Rounded yeah. full. What's yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to do that because they're icons. Right, because oh, they... they're, they're going to be like the little logos. So like the oh, TS one like would get cut off. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, yeah, cool. But um, oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so <laughs> just get rid of front and full. Yeah, but that's that's perfect. So yeah. right there, yeah. and then that'll just uh, oh, and then um in the div, I think you already put a gap, but just making sure. Yep. You, uh, yeah, yeah, put SpaceX. Put SpaceX too. too. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. So that one is done. So we can now cool. see like w with icons and without uh, our editors. That's super can cool can choose between them yeah. um, if we take a screenshot here now it'll just make it a little bit clearer it's it's not great but it's it's better and for some reason it's it's taking up the oh. full height and i'm not sure why but anyway because some of the oh, other like the snapshots are yeah like there's a lot itself. of white space but but anyway do we have a um, i don't know i'm not sure why it's large uh... and y 20 so there's a that's, that's not that much. That's good. All right. It, it's all good. With full, max width. No, it, it should be fine. It's all good. I know we're over time already. So I want to, um, I want to just get to the cards if, if, if that's cool. Yep. I, th I think we can bang out, uh, the last two variations real quick. Cool. So we, we already have two variations. One's just a default in case they want to ship anything without anything at the bottom. Uh, and the other one is the icons. So now we can go to a new variation. I think with cards just works. Duplicates. Uh, I want to duplicate this one from the default because I don't want to include that, the stuff that 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 way. Yeah, because we'd have to delete the icons. Um, yeah. Good call. And so this one, if we want to go to Figma, nice. You're a step ahead. Uh, 
so here we have a couple things going on. We have a in in an image, right? We've we've got the, that icon up top, um, and then we have the heading. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go one at a time. So icon that works, and then we have a heading. It'll be, that can just be uh, a text, like a key text field, I think, just because these are simple little cards. And then a like a body or a description, whichever you want to go with. It's kind of a description, but who cares? Either way. Take care, Anthony. Hey, um, Anthony. I'll be Dougie Stream. Ooh, tell him I said hi. Yeah, he's wonderful. Yes, he is. I've got to hang out with him a couple times this year. Are you going to be in person at anything this year? That this year is in or I guess next 23. year? Yeah, next year. Uh, I, I hope so. I hope so. Let's get me... Uh... Get me to everything. I'm 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 looking forward to it, but nothing planned yet. Nothing okay. planned yet. Yeah, I would, cool. I would love it. Um, and then we'll stop there. Like we we cool. we could do so. The the last thing is uh these cards can take a link, mm -hmm. but that adds a little complication, and I just want yep. to kind of rush through this last part. Yep. Um how oh, funny Angelo's now over on YouTube. Or no, he's 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 on Twitch now. He's just hopping all over the place. Angelo went to, um, that's funny. Oh, yeah. he, maybe he has them both he's up an, to answer questions. He's answering to. questions. Oh, th thank you, uh, Angelo. Sorry, yeah. I missed that, Richard. Uh, we were we were all worried about the uh, spam. If you update the oh, default yeah. variation, we'll update the variations. Yeah, we missed that. I apologize. Uh, do you want to answer that yeah. question? I'm curious about it too. Angelo just did. I, I can just read it. Uh, it won't. <laughs> it essentially copies the default fields. Mm -hmm. That's helpful if you want to use completely different fields for each variation. Yeah, so... We could in this with cards uh, one, we could delete icon, eyebrow, heading, body, CTA tag, CTA link. We could wipe it out entirely. Mm -hmm. it, the variations don't have to be like closely connected. Um, they can be completely different in in every way as as far as the fields are concerned. But it makes a lot more sense for editors if they're just like a variation and not different slices, right? Yep. It, once you get to that level where you're like like there's just most of the fields are different create a different slice so yeah yep with you cool um, um so right, save I that think... to the file system all right nice now and... uh what do we have down yeah yeah so let's gonna, add that to our switch component good to jump yeah, ahead. yeah go for it absolutely man we'll have a new thingy um, yeah so this is this will be the same flex space right like i mean we're we're gonna be rendering out some cards and I actually i think i have a card component in there for you so if you if you oh, import you? card okay. from components Our... of course it's not gonna let you import that now um but it is in the components you see it on the top left okay um uh, but maybe i didn't do a good job of exporting it right i don't know default does the, does that change things there it is gotcha okay um, and then you said we want to copy. Yeah, we can go ahead. Excuse and do me that. while I copy and paste all of my code. That I mean, and, if you didn't do that, I would mock would you be... relentlessly. That's how you. And how what you am I? Fast. Oh, so closing that thing, um, and then div. Cool. And then okay, card. Nice. Card takes a few things, but it's not types. So you're gonna have to look for it. Okay. So image is item dot. Do we call it icon again? Uh, probably. Icon. Yep. Yeah. Cool. And then heading item dot heading. Also, don't forget the key. <laughs> nice. Look at you. thinking about it. And then does it have body property? Hey, it's great when you write all the code for me beforehand. I just it's get handy. Dump stuff um, <laughs> all right now i was preparing for the link so maybe it's gonna throw maybe i should just add the link so um go ahead go ahead and save that and we'll see how that preview works that. if if that works yeah let's preview so this Art. also this is interesting there's like obviously a socket connection behind the scenes for this page because it's auto yeah. or maybe a polling cycle i'm not sure something like, like it that. automatically yeah, pulled in the different right. um things even though i didn't refresh this page yeah object uh, object object React child. what are we trying so check my card component it's probably busted in some way image item icon 
that's what happens when you don't write the write the code. It becomes bad because I wrote it. <laughs> um, we can get rid of that conditional wrap now, at this point. Uh, so yeah, if if you want to get that, so the the conditional wrap was handling the um, the potential for a link to be there, and if if, if it wasn't there, it, it would render. Sorry. Oh, it, this thing. Yeah, the conditional wrap. So component. get rid of that component completely. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, I think you still have some leftover of of that wrap oh, component now. I got the bottom part. Okay, cool. Never mind. Um, all right, cool. That that was there. Body heading. Now, heading. Field image. Uh, real quick, what was head? Are, is any of it rich text? Was 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 body coming in as rich text? Body is rich text. Okay, then we need to just handle that. So I think in my card, yeah. So we just need to make this a rich, rich text, text field. field. It's prismic, prismic rich text. Rich Sorry. Text. Gotcha. Cool. And, and then instead of passing it, it in field? as children, we do. Yep, exactly. Field equals body. And we're not going to be able to benefit from the class there. Oh. Did I put class on there too? That's embarrassing. Oh, that was actually. That, no, I think that's me. Yeah. That's... Yeah. It, I noticed that when I first ran the project, he gave me a warning. Embarrassing. Yeah, that's terrible. I. Yeah. Shameful. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that helped. All oh, right. Also, cool. I so, there's the card. Angelo, my misspelling of your name was not on purpose. I apologize. Meant to be Angelo. Not Burned Angelo. Him. Sorry. <laughs> not on purpose, I promise. Got him back for that image uh, <laughs> that URL thing. Uh, not cool. on purpose. So we've we've got cards now, and uh, it 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 gives us a mock. It's only giving us one, but we can kind of see like how that would continue. We're we're gonna like I I wanna have it so that we get more of those cards in there so that it's not just the mm -hmm. like I, I think for mocks. If it's a repeatable, it should at least be two or three. Yep. So I'm going to push for that change. Agreed. Um, yeah, I think that's nice. But in just, oh, just in terms be. of seeing how it looks, for, even for one, like having that automatically there is just such a nice little feature. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So yeah, uh, let's skip the last one just because it's it's we're already well late and it, it, it we're not going to get a huge value add with, with that third one. So now that we have this, uh, we see that we have a little changes thing over there, right? So. We, we have that one, and we see that we, we have this feature slice. We, we can push changes. First, let's hit update all screenshots. Um, so capture screenshot. Yeah, so we've got one for that. Let's click that and see what it does. Or that one. We might have to click the button. Yep. Taking a screenshot. Cool. And there cool. it is. All right, so we've got one for each. Um, but before we upload this, or sorry, so so what what the push changes button does, chat, is it's going to take these slight, well, this one slice with the variations, and send the data model and these snapshots to the Prismic editor that's cloud based, and essentially give it to our editors to use. Um, the thing that we have to do though is we have to say where editors can use this mm -hmm. slice. Because like I said, slices have to belong to a custom type. So first we're going to go into page and update our slice zone here. It, because as, as you can see, it's it's not on by default. Mm -hmm. We want to en enable this by default. So and it, and it has the three variations. Cool. So we hit that and we need to save this. Oh, or that part already saves? That's an automatic save? That's I weird. guess that does automatic. Oh, no, no. So do that again. Open uh, up, update slice zone again because it didn't, and I think you have to scroll down. Yeah, oh. it's, a, it's a hidden save button. Well, we will work on sticky, that. Yeah, sticky yeah, buttons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, if you save this, there you go. There we go. Cool. Cool. Now we have two changes. So that's the thing. You have to make sure the slice is added to that custom type, and now we can push our changes. And we see that we have a custom type that we changed and the slice that we've changed. And if and we, we have, have and so if you I go into home this. now. Yeah, I was going to see if I could load this page before having that available to show the difference. But oh, God. Um, yeah, I mean, but, but I think it's probably here now, which is good. Yeah. Uh, uh, or maybe actually, not. it's not. Maybe yeah. So probably. Yeah. yeah so you, at chat, as you can see, the featured section it's is not, not here. It's not. So there. if we what's going on? I know yeah. it's crazy. But then we push it up to Prismic. Yep. And then add a new slice. And now we can choose. There's our, our feature, feature slice. slice. Yeah. And, and you then, can add it 
anywhere on the page. Like it, it doesn't have to go mm -hmm. at the bottom. It can go right where your content team needs it. They can move it up and down with that arrow yep. as you're about to do probably. Um, and then, yeah, so right from the beginning, they can click switch variations and choose which variation and you graphics. see that, that they, they have these snapshots mm -hmm. to, to look at. So when they're like with icons, is that the one that I want? They can see exactly see what, what they're going to be like. choosing. Yeah. Yeah. It and, is really neat. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Um, so say like what, what, what I like to do when, when the snapshots are just kind of like, okay, I like to actually just <laughs> upload images and give like the, the best representation of it or the, the, the most clear one for those yeah. um, editors. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And so if, uh, I've, I've got some icons in there already. If, if you just want to click the spot one or the react one, and then, yeah, we can just put in whatever my like, cool. <laughs> Let's build. Love it. I need a shortcut for alarm epsilon, but mm -hmm. there are I forget what they're called. Key key something. Key and... yeah. Um, but like those those things where like you hit like a certain keystroke and it just fills your name in or it just does whatever. So super handy I have a lorem one. I have a whole lot of those shortcuts. I just don't have lorem. Lorem is, is. I use is, so it, many it's, shortcuts. It's the it's the only one I have in terms really? of my key generator yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Link to web. We will link to Just Google or something. Speaking of shortcuts, that Z what? is my prefix. Look at that! Look at that! So genius. Z Twitter. Oh, Z dude, YouTube, that is genius. Z IG or Instagram. Z that is TikTok. genius. Yeah. So I, that's dude, that's I, how you quickly check the chat. Nice. Yep. Z bio. Okay, yeah, it's nice. You, yeah. you got to get on it. Uh, put put your bio in as Laura Mipsum, dude. That's the best Laura Mipsum there is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Be bio. There we go. Easiest. Yeah. Boom. Love it. Um, uh, and then yeah. So add a couple more icons just so we can see like yeah. that. Right. Um, so add new element. Yeah. So but that's probably not too many because we didn't account for if they. Uh, let's find out. Let's let's did we? let's break it. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's it 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 might not wrap, but but that should be fine. Yeah, we'll That'll see. Be fine. Oh, we're 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 going to logos now. Okay, no, I don't, I'm is... just clicking stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's all good. All right, it's we're all good. good. <laughs> no, that's, that's it. Save. <laughs> um, so this will. And there's two different distinctions here. Mm. Saving the data is kind of like in a draft format. Publish is actually like this stuff is. Yes, but live. hit hit b before you hit publish. Hit that eyeball. Uh, and well, let's go local dev because prod right now doesn't have that slice pushed up to it yet because we didn't ship that code mm -hmm. but this is a preview mode of our local development site nice um and we should see right Which at the bottom does, there it is it just takes us to localhost 3000 so that's what right. i would have gone to myself yeah right but but, but right now this is without actually publishing the, mm -hmm. the the content to like the 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 main branch we're kind of if you yep. think of it like github we're off on on like uh just a, a different branch and we're viewing it there mm -hmm. and you can tell by the little thing at, at the bottom home one doc um mm -hmm. and yeah so prismic has a great preview feature where you can preview on both on prod on development basically anywhere and it works with nextjs's uh preview api and everything it's it's really nice. Uh, we could preview this on production right now if this slice existed in that repository. Like if if mm -hmm. we pushed our code to GitHub, this would work the same way just as well. We just aren't going to do that right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Uh, and there's our component. If we and you wanted... could right yeah, so you could switch the variation right now to yep. anything else, and it would save. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm almost positive it, it it'll save most of the content, and just get rid of the icon. So save if you were, yep, yeah. So stuff and if, then... if if they wanted to swap that out, um, you would have to hit save on the Prismic repo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're fine. And then I think you have to hit preview again because it it needs to kind of uh, change not... that. Brand. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know Prismic. Um, <laughs> Who knows? And then cool. if we wanted to move this around, yep, and save. And refresh. This will be the finish saving. Maybe. Save. Huh? Hmm. Did I actually end up moving it? Yeah. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Hit hit the eyeball and and hit the local dev again. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Work. Interesting. Yeah. So there it is. So we we built a slice. We were able to create some variations. We explored how you, just as developers, honestly, when you're building websites, when you're creating uh, sites for content teams, think less about pages and think more about page sections and give your team a headless website builder that works with, oh, we're going up. Love going it. up. That, that, that works uh, with any framework that you want to use. If you want to use Nux, if you want to use Next, and to to be soon uh to be soon to be soon, soon uh <laughs> any any other framework that uh that y- you want to use right now we're optimizing for nextjs and mm-hmm. and nuxt um but we are at that point where it's in a really good place and we want to uh kind of bring it to astro and remix and all these other frameworks so we're working on that next couple months that should be in in a good place uh and we should be able to open up to those other frameworks you can right now but it's just not optimized for those, as I was saying earlier. Uh, but so, so Slice Machine makes building those page level components uh, just really nice. It, it gives you those code snippets. It lets you uh, have mock data. It gives you those snapshots. It, it, it provides so much for you that you couldn't get if it was just all cloud-based, mm-hmm. which, it, which it used to be. Um, and yeah, so I, I think Prismic is great for the methodology that it brings of building with slices. Uh, as well as some of the developer tools like our SDKs and Slice Machine, just kind of a best in class sort sort of situation. So, yeah, dude, thank you for uh, having me on and building that with me. Yeah, that was fun. I'm I'm glad I got to get a demo internally uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was yeah, super helpful. Angela. And then um, did some stuff this morning to get prepared. So all of it felt like super comfortable as we were going through, which I think is like a testament cool. to just adoption and because it's a different awesome. workflow, I think for a lot of people, but I'm, I'm still finding small nuggets that I'm like, Oh, that like, that really makes sense for cool. why, why we're doing things a different way because we're getting these benefits. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully everyone in chat did as well. It seemed like we got pretty positive feedback and engagement uh, there. As yeah. Well. Good. Really appreciate all the questions and everything. Um, it was, it was, yeah, like that's, that's just wonderful. Um, I, you know, I obviously build with Prismic on my stream kind of often, but uh, going to other people's streams and and hearing what what their audience has to not just to say, but like the questions that they have mm-hmm. is always fun because uh, yep. makes you think about it in different ways. But dude, mm-hmm. thank you so much. I don't want to keep you any longer. I know I've been just gushing <laughs> Prismic at you this whole time, but uh, yeah, man, this is great. Hassan, okay. welcome. Yeah, Hassan, thanks for. Uh catching us i don't know how long you've been but thanks for checking yeah. in heather heather thank um, you um thank you i want sorry, I'm, I'm i'm doing the host thing again know, i'm sorry yeah. man I, I keep doing it <laughs> it's it's good to have a guest that also pays attention to chat um yeah. anyway everyone it's great to virtually chat why see you all and hang out um there will be a video on this coming out like next week i think is when i'll ship this so keep an eye out for that um alex if i've got questions hit you up in slack uh but yeah. there should be a more like um dedicated streamlined video of building a landing page uh with prismic and next.js which i'm super excited about so alex thanks for coming on hanging out always a good time to see you go and follow alex on twitch and tiktok and twitter and all the things because your content is great yeah my stuff uh trost codes is 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 where you can find me folks just uh like i'm not i don't care about plugging my my stuff so much but just more about like if you have a question Mm -hmm. come come get me so awesome thank you dude do you have a shortcut if, for that too? I'm I'm impressed. I did I did my shortcut and then I replaced your name with mine. Smart. Or smart. Vice versa. Yeah. Appreciate so, it. Anyway. Cool. Yeah. Hit hit me up. Any questions? Take care. Cool. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Thanks, everybody.